What's going on you guys? My name's Lloyd and welcome to my YouTube channel, The Single Guy. So today we're gonna to be talking about a question uh, that one of my viewers had, and let me read it for you today. <laughs> um, it's, hey Lloyd, I'm getting very frustrated by how things are going. No matter how many times I've put myself out there, it just doesn't seem to work. I've gone out a bunch of times and can't seem to get women to like me. I usually don't get the phone number, but even when I do and it's going well, they ghost me. I've been on a few dates and even those haven't gone well. People always tell me to have abundance mentality, but how can I have that when I'm getting denied all the time? I am losing all hope in this and may just have to resign myself to the fact that no women will ever like me. Any advice? <laughs> Sounds like this guy needs help. So let's help him. Okay, so in this video, basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be answering this guy's question. I actually have a great clip uh, from a talk that I did uh, in San Francisco last week, which pretty much covered this exact subject because if this guy doesn't learn how to handle those feelings, he's probably going to give up. You know, when I was working on my social skills and learning how to talk to women and getting better in that area of my life, I was kind of clueless and it was hard for me to express myself in that way. I'm a very introverted person. And it, going through that process, if you don't, if, if you don't consistently actually take action and do certain things to better yourself, you're going to give up just like this guy thinks he's going to. But if he makes these changes, he's going to feel more empowered, is less likely that he's going to give up, and much more likely that he's going to continue on his journey and eventually be successful with women. Because, you know, I've seen a lot of guys who are successful that do this, and I've seen a lot of guys come through that uh, that didn't do these things and because of that they gave up and, and ended up settling okay cool yeah just make sure I'm still in frame let me see if this is okay cool so yeah we hear this all the time cool so we hear this all the time we hear just believe in yourself have abundance mentality what you need is you need to stop putting the girl on a pedestal as soon as you stop putting the girl on the pedestal you'll be great you need to believe in yourself, okay? People say these all the time, and it's like they, they think you can just trick your brain doing that mindset hack or whatever to get you confident, and it doesn't work, and it didn't work for me because your brain's smart. Your brain knows you haven't done shit with women, and so it's not gonna believe it, and you telling yourself actually reinforces your brain to just ignore the things that you're telling it. I actually think it, it does damage to you. So the only way to actually have abundance mentality is to prove to your brain that you can do it. If you're not confident and you just wanna will yourself into confidence, it doesn't work. Confidence is from demonstrated performance. Your brain needs to see evidence that you've done certain things and can do certain things in the future. So the question becomes, how do you prove to your brain? How do you prove to yourself, which is the most important part? As a coach, I know that I can tell my student everything in the book to try and get them confident. But until they start believing it, they're just gonna ignore everything I say. They're gonna be, oh, that's nice, that's nice, that's cool. And then they sign off the call or they, they leave our meeting and nothing changes. Their, their mindset's still the same. So what do you think, how do you, how do you think I started to prove to myself that, that I could actually have confidence, that I could actually do this? What do you think I started doing, you guys? Going out? I want to do it. I want to do it. I already had that, but uh, that was probably the fuel that I think kept me going. Going out really helped, yeah. Going out really helped. But also, what else? There's something, there's... Results to other aspects of life. I don't know. This, that, that's, results. And results, to yes, that's good. One little result at a time. Is that exactly. Mm -hmm. Little steps, little results at a time. I see there's a lot of people in my program that have a lot of trouble improving. The reason why is because what they do is, I just had a meeting with a, one of my students today and we had a long talk about this exact subject. When they go out and they're expecting to talk to girls, you have to go out to be successful. So let's say you go out and you talk to a bunch of girls and you know maybe one of them kind of liked you and you got her phone number and then she didn't text you back, okay? That happened to this guy. He actually was talking to a model, smoking hot girl, right? Got her number. She kind of like blew him off uh, for a date, okay? And he was sad. He was upset about it. He was depressed. And we had been doing the coaching for about a month and a half, something like that. No, 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 it was it'd been about a month. And he was upset about this. He didn't want to go out again. I could see he was unmotivated, low energy, 
the way he was saying things was very like, uh, he was just kind of lost, kind of a, in a very big haze. And I told him, I was like, listen, dude, so you're telling me that you're sad about getting a model's number and then almost going out on a date with her. When a month ago, you told me you hadn't been late in three years and hadn't gotten a single phone number since then. It sounds crazy, right? If he's seen that much improvement, why wouldn't he feel empowered? Why wouldn't he feel motivated? I'll tell you why. It's because in his mind, his brain was thinking he was a failure. Because every time he went out and didn't get laid, he's like, I failed. I fucked up. I didn't do the right thing. But in reality, he's talking to girls he's never talked to in his life. He's going to parties that he's never been to. He's getting numbers from models, you know? He had, he had improved so much, but his brain wouldn't let him see it. So the secret here is do slow incremental improvements and give yourself credit for them. Realize how far you've come and acknowledge the, acknowledge the successes. Okay, so you have to realize the things, basically what happens is if you go out once and you're like, okay, I didn't get laid. Well, that was a failure. I went out again, didn't get laid. That was a failure. Basically what you're doing is you're killing your momentum. You guys know the concept of momentum, social momentum and all that stuff? Super important, super important. If you, if you build up social momentum, you feel more confident. You feel more energized. You want to go out more. Okay, and you want to go out and, and, and take action. Okay, the reason why people settle is they give up. And they give up because they feel unmotivated. And they're just like, fuck it, I'll just, I'll just settle. This girl, this girl likes me. I can get laid. I'll, uh, I'll stick around with her. And it's because they're beaten down. They have low energy. If you have high energy, you think, oh, damn, I'm, I'm going to go out tomorrow. I'm going to get the best girl that I can. I'm going to have con full control over my dating life. Okay? But the guy who's telling himself he's a failure consistently will lose. He will give up. He will not be successful. And I've seen it happen again and again through my program. And the more people tell him these negative stories, the more likely they are to fail. So the way you tell yourself a positive story is come up with some concrete small goals that you can hit and fucking hit them. And they should be easy. You know, literally when I've, people first start my program, usually I'm like, if you can say hi to 10 girls today, man, that's a win. He's like, I don't know if I can do that. All right, just make eye contact with 10 girls. He's like, all right, I think I can, I think I can maybe do that. And if he can't do that, I'm literally just at 10, I make eye contact with 10 people in general, old ladies, construction workers, <laughs> doesn't matter. Okay. Now, the problem with a lot of guys is that they think too far in the distance. They think about the end result. It's like, the analogy that I like to think of is like if you wanted to be a basketball player and you were playing against, you know, LeBron James and you were losing every time, you're like, I'm a failure, I'm a failure. It's like, dude, you literally just started playing. You think you're going to be in the NBA right away? No, you start at the little leagues and then you work your way up. That's how everything works. That's how dating works. That's how life works. And so when people go out, they have this like long-term result in mind and when they don't hit it, um, they have low energy and they give up. So the way you don't let yourself give up is you start doing things that are gonna make yourself feel good so you keep doing them. Okay, cool, so hopefully you guys liked that clip. Basically what I was saying in the clip was I was saying that in order for you to build confidence, you need to prove to your brain that you can do things. Now, if you've never done anything with women, it's gonna be very difficult for you to prove to your brain that you can be successful with them. You can go on a date with an attractive woman that you like, you can keep a relationship going, maybe you can date multiple women at the same time if that's what you're into, but if you've never done it before, you're probably never ever gonna believe that you can do it in the future. But what you can do with your brain is you can tell your brain that, hey, I've done other things in the past. I've been able to accomplish other goals. I can accomplish this goal too. So there are a couple things to this. Now I mentioned in the talk that you need to come up with small goals, but you should also come up with things that make yourself feel good as well too. Build a little bit of momentum. Now the way that you do this is write down things that are gonna empower you. Write down things that you can do that are gonna make you more likely to take another action. When guys go up and they keep thinking that, oh, if I don't get the end result that I'm looking for, I'm, I'm a failure they eventually give up. 
And so my recommendation for the guy who wrote this question is that are you judging yourself a little too harshly? Are you making some unfair judgments about yourself when in reality, you're probably improving? You say you're actually going on dates with girls. That's awesome. That's progress. That's something to, to be proud of. Now, just because they're not going exactly the way you want and you're not, you know, you're not in a relationship or you're not sleeping with women, that's okay. What you need to focus on are the positives and build up from there because I promise you, dude, if you keep at this and you continually better yourself, you are going to make it happen. You know, I saw this other post on um, Instagram, I think it was, where someone was saying that, you know, just a baby never gives up just because it can't walk the first time, okay? Just because it's just because a baby has never walked before doesn't mean it gives up. It, it, could, it keeps trying and it keeps trying. It stumbles, it crawls, it does a bunch of little things. Right now you're stumbling and crawling and just because you haven't walked yet, you feel like a failure. But you will in the future, trust in the process. Everybody goes through this. I went through this, everybody who was successful in a relationship or is killing it with women, they all did this sort of thing. And you you have to do it too, there's just no other way. But you will give up if you don't learn how to control your own emotions and build up positive reinforcement for your confidence. If your self-worth is this low, this is something that you need to start doing right now. And it's super easy to do, anyone can do it. And if you do it, you're much more likely to be successful. So thanks for watching you guys. If you made today, consider subscribing. Guys, I have a bunch of spots opening up in my mentorship program. So fill out the form down below if you wanna be a part of that. And if your form looks good, we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.